माई डियर स्टूडेंट्स आई डॉक्टर अरुण कुमार डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ इंग्लिश एल एन एम एस कॉलेज बीरपुर आई एम गोइंग टू गिव यू अ शॉर्ट अवेयरनेस मैसेज एंड टू कंटिन्यू आवर ऑनलाइन क्लासेस एज यू नो वी आर गोइंग थ्रू टफ टाइम्स ड्यू टू दिस पेंडेमिक कोविड नाइन्टीन और कोरोना वायरस इन दिस सिचुएशन वी ऑल आर रिक्वायर्ड टू स्टे होम एंड टू स्टे सेफ विदाउट हैम्परिंग आवर स्टडीज वी आर टेकिंग एन इनिशिएटिव टू कैरी आउट योर फ्यूचर स्टडीज एंड एक्सपेक्ट यू टू कोऑपरेट विथ अस टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट अ पोएट्री ऑफ रॉबर्ट फ्रॉस्ट नेम्ड स्टॉपिंग बाई वुड्स टू बिगिन विथ I am going to throw some lights on the topics. The title of the poem about the poet Robert Frost, rhyming scheme shown in the poem, central idea and theme of the poem, figure of the speech, and finally, why I like this poem. As you know, the complete title of the poem is "Stopping by Woods on a Snowy Evening." It clearly shows that. the poem in question is a nature poetry or you can say a poem based on natural phenomena the poem is written by robert frost natively an american poet who was given a number of awards for his masterpieces frost is famous basically for his rhythmic poems based on nature now come to the central idea of the poem in this poem Frost has described an incident happening in a snowy evening. He is fascinated by the beautiful nature in the forest. He stops to enjoy that happy moment, but his mind reminds him that he is a traveler and he has to go on. These are the central ideas. Moreover, the poem apparently presents the picture of snow-covered trees and tells the tale of the men who want to enjoy beauty of nature but could not do so far long he had to keep his promises we in our real lives also have many things to look away and many things to enjoy but in most cases we cannot simply because we have other things to do in our short lives so we have to continue moving ahead this is the message inherent in this poem by robert frost the woods are symbolic of the beautiful aspects of life as well as life's temptations and distractions we have in the way of achieving our goals so we should not get distracted by fascinating things around us in this way we can say that the main message given by the poet frost is that we should not get tempted to any enjoyable things we see around us we should not rest until our world is completed now coming to the next topic that is rhyming scheme of the poem the poem is written in definite rhyming scheme in the first three stanzas it is a a b a and the final stanza has a uniform rhyming scheme a a a a moreover the figure of speech used in this poem is inversion that is the action of inverting something special features of this poem is that it is a short lyric or you can say each stanza consisting of four lines and the best part of the poem that i like the most is its simplicity even the message in the end is very simple and straight forward